I'd want to say that. That would be a bombastic way to segue into our next vampire flick, Children of the Night. Except those um, bozo with a frown over here would just chop it at the neck to spill more blood on our favorite vampire horror host, Tell Gord of All. Suck it to him, slave boy. It was in 1971 that WCDA called upon Dick Drivesell to host the popular children's show, Bozo Circus and appear also as the host of the Captain 20 Club. He was rewarded for his dedication when WCDA agreed to allow him to have his own show as Count Gore de And by 1975, Count Gore de had established a fan base of over 50,000 clubs. The initial run of Count Gore de creature feature ended in December of 1979. Not bad, Tom Zero, but you better work on your delivery. You're sounding more like Mumbles Lugosi every day. <laughs> Our next frighteningly funny vampire flick, as I was talking about before we were interrupted by Lugosi's chubby clone over here, is the 1991 modern day horror classic, Children of the Night. Oh! This Bangora magazine produced feature film stars Amy Tick Stolen. Peter Sola Baby's Eloise, and the only lovely Karen Tuesday of Terra Black. <coughs> the story takes place in typical small town USA, which is suddenly overrun by hordes of the undead after an accident with a crucifix and a corpse. There's lots of buffalo violence, but watch out for that freaky scene where a vampire's face is knocked off by a slap shot with a wooden tail. Roll that bloody full vampire footage, freaky. Baron Bloody Bones is the name, and crank it out a blood sucking flick is my game. Got to be as Master Moron. Yeah, Master Moron. No, just Master. You're the Moron, Moron. Now that you've gotten the funny stuff out of the way, Zombiesley, I need you to fill us in on more of the history of Count Gord Duval. Yes, Baron Bones. Lord of the Lifeless. King of the zombies, dominator of the dead, Uber Lord. Stop sucking up and lay the Count's bio on us! The Count made a triumphant return to Channel 20 in October of 1984. And in 1985, became the first local Washington show to be broadcast stereo. The station was taken over by new management in 1987 and higher budget restriction forced the final airing of Creature Feature on May 25th, 9th, 1987. Our next vampire flick is a little seen Danish film. And no, you morons, that doesn't mean this flick is about pastry. Oh. Its English title is Angel of the Night, and it's about a young chick who inherits a big spooky castle somewhere in Central Europe. This young hottie discovers the bones of her great-grandfather in the basement of the castle. And after learning he was a vampire, she drips blood on his skeleton, uh, restoring his blood on dead flesh. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little hot. Hurry up and run the damn film, Dr. Freak, before I pop a bone! 